Hello there ladies and gentlemen, what is up? Top Gang out 123 here once again bringing you another video and today we are talking about Sernando has been banned off of YouTube. Now after this video, go ahead and post in the comment section below your guys' opinions whether or not he actually did this um, or whether he was banned in your opinion or whether he was not banned and just tell me your guys' opinion because I'm going to put forward the evidence here and uh, you guys just tell me what your guys' opinion is. Also, don't forget to subscribe as it helps my channel grow and lets you become part of a really awesome community of gamers that love helping each other and enjoy watching some pretty awesome videos. So let's go ahead and get started in the video. So I have a secondary screen open on his channel right now and it actually says right here that this account has been terminated for violating YouTube community guidelines. Now, here's what I believe is going on, because on his uh, his Twitter feed, he actually posted uh, 12 hours ago, it's right now 1.57 in the morning when I'm filming this, he posted 12 hours ago, so around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, or maybe 2, channel is temporarily offline, we'll be getting it back, just gonna need to play the waiting game. Here's what I believe has actually happened, a couple years, or not a couple years ago, a few months back, I made a video talking about how I believe most of his practices of making fake GTA 6 videos is actually illegal and against YouTube's terms of service. Here's why. First off, if you want to see the whole video, I will have it in an info card above me right about now. So really quick, here's what's going on. So I made a video explaining how I believe what he was doing is actually illegal because in the United States there are anti-fraud laws in place that prevent people from basically exploiting people in certain ways. Uh, you can't trick people into doing this. You can't trick people into buying products that are uh, faulty, you know, things like that. And it's considered fraud. Now, in my video, I had explained that I thought he committed fraud because YouTubers make money. That's no secret. And a lot of those GTA 6 videos made him an absolute massive amount of money. Now, if people are not aware you get ad revenue off YouTube, and I think this is what was illegal about it. His GTA 6 videos and his giveaway videos, not a lot of people, like, I have not seen one person ever come forward saying that they won a giveaway. And I made the uh, accusation at the time, if I remember correctly, I think I made the accusation in the video saying, I personally believe that his giveaways are fake. I've done a couple of them on YouTube, but I've actually used a service called Gleam, and they take care of it for me. So I'll give them the information for the giveaway, give them the code, you know, all that stuff will get checked, and then they'll select a winner for me, they'll notify them, and then I just send them the code in an email. That's how I've always done it. Sir Nando, however, in all his videos that he claimed he was doing giveaways on, he told people to like the video. I made the accusation saying there's no way to tell who liked a video unless you visited every single YouTube channel on YouTube, to actually see who liked the video and so on. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stop rambling about that. It'll be up there, but I think what's happened is that video is not very popular. But I think he's actually gotten banned because of his practices involving giveaways and GTA 6 uh, videos. Because, like I said, I'm on his channel right now, which uh, it says right here, the account has been terminated for violating YouTube community guidelines. So. YouTube community guidelines strictly, I think, prohibit doing fake videos about fake topics and so on. In fact, while I was, was talking about that, I stopped talking for a few moments and looked up YouTube's actual policies on YouTube. And it spe says right here specifically that there's uh, one of their policies that you are not permitted to do is spam, misleading metadata, or scams. And pretty much... Uh, if you read in here, it's misleading or racy thumbnails is one thing. Scams, uh, that probably is not something he did. But right here is video, channel, and comment spam. It is not okay to post large amounts of untargeted, unwanted, or repetitive content in videos, comments, private messages, and our place on the site. The main purpose of your content is to drive people off YouTube and our sites. It's likely to violate our spam policies. It is not okay to post large amounts of repetitive and or re-upload videos to your channel if the main purpose of your channel is to monetize on your content. It will likely violate our spam policies if you believe your copyright protected work, yada, 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 you know all that stuff. Or maybe, I don't know. But uh, my opinion, I believe he's actually gotten banned because on his uh, Twitter, 
like I said, his YouTube says it's been banned for, uh, or the account has been terminated for YouTube's community guidelines. And on Cernando's Twitter, he said, channel is temporarily offline. We'll be getting it back. Just need to do, uh, just play the waiting game. Now, like I said, go ahead and post your guys' opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear it from you guys. If you guys think he's been banned, or do you guys think he's just been suspended, or something along those lines. Just let me know what you guys are thinking in the comment section below. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to take a place inside of the uh, Dustin L796 community. It is really appreciated. Helps my channel grow. I will see you guys later. Stay awesome.